Thanks for being with us this noon hour. Milwaukee's Common Council now considering how to penalize businesses further that are not complying with the COVID-19 health order. Right now, businesses are fined $500 if they're caught not complying with health orders. But the health department said some businesses are just risking it because the $500 fine isn't really enough of an incentive to get them to comply. Our Ryan Jenkins reports on how those fines may now change. Milwaukee's COVID-19 positivity rate is now at 17.9% and the health department continues to share concerns about the number of positive cases being reported in Milwaukee. Now more than 35,000 cases since the pandemic began. An attempt to slow the spread of COVID-19 city alders are now considering raising non-compliance fines from $500 to up to $5,000. The Moving Milwaukee Forward Safely plan sets the rules aimed at slowing the spread of COVID-19 at places like bars and restaurants, businesses that don't comply with the health order risk being fined and health officials are asking that those fines are increased. I have heard from several businesses in different sectors that the $500 amount is less than what they would make in an evening if they decided that they wanted to go beyond capacity limit. During a common council committee meeting Thursday, health officials said only a very small number of businesses continue to operate without complying with the city's COVID-19 health order. It's our belief that if the fine is steeper, there would be a more incentive to get voluntary compliance, which is really what we need to occur. Alderwoman Morena Dmitrievic, who chairs the city's public safety and health committee introduced a new ordinance that would change the way businesses are penalized. Instead of a $500 fine, fines would range from $500 to $5,000, and businesses could be fined for multiple violations at once, up to $20,000 if busted for noncompliance. The other option is there are some cities that have complete ban on indoor activity, and um, we're trying hard to operate during a very severe surge in a pandemic. And the health department says that they're also bringing on more staff to increase enforcement and compliance checks. Reporting near City Hall, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.